Right, we're back. Okay, let's play this really cool so we don't lose either of these guys again. And yes, that does mean not using the walk fast button. I am not... Uh-oh. Oh man, you gotta give me a choice already? Right. This seems like it'll take us further, so... We're doing this! Okay. Nope, that is not a sound that Daddy likes. Daddy, no Reiki. Okay, he's playing it totally cool here. Okay, maybe we can walk a little faster, but... No, I don't like it! Please don't! I just got these guys back. Don't let me get them killed now. It'd be such a douchebag thing to do. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, what? Uh, hide, and I'm putting this down. Hide, 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 hide. Fast, 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 fast. And do not move. Yes, I was right. Move on. Move on. Oh shit! Oh, just barely managed. Jesus. This game uses some mean tricks every now and then, I gotta say. Aren't you going the same way it just crawled? Oh no no, what now, what now, what now? Oh shit, hide together, hide together! And this game is, is suddenly a lot more intense. First time I played this was with a friend of mine. We did like couch co-op and we did it in one sitting. And we definitely worked each other up and, and got freaked out every now and then. But the game stays largely the same for a very long amount of time apparently. Or I just made a lot of very similar choices. And oh my god. This has, this has been very intense these last few episodes. Uh, climb around. Not taking any chances with that leap. I'm kind of afraid to. Okay. Come on. Yes. We can do it. Yes. Man, she is an expert climber. Okay. Oh. Diverging paths already. That go right back into each other? Oh, that looked like it was blocked anyway, so. Whew. I'm really trying to remain cool because I want as many people as possible to survive. Ah, crap. More ice-cold water. That's exactly what I need. More places for fucking Jason or a Wendigo to come at me. Ooh, that looks cold. Right. Can I even climb up there? Oh, shit. 
How many of these fucking things are there, though? Oof. You know, getting these jeans wet doesn't make me stare at your butt any less. I'm sorry for being creepy, but it's kind of in my face all the time. It's, it's a little hard not to look at it every now and then. I mean, you're also freezing and terrified, so it's not exactly arousing, but I can't help but look. Okay, let's try not to die here. Well, at least we're at a building now. Isn't that the shed where we tied up Josh? Uh oh. Better be ready for action. Oh, shit! Let's not fuck this up. Oh, nope. Yes! Oh, no. Who do you think is inside? Also, what happened to Chris? Oh, man. Oh, gosh. You look terrible. It's gonna look worse if we stay out here. Come on. You're not gonna ask where Josh is? He's very, very dead. No? No questions about Josh? Okay, good to know you care. Finally. I got him. God, what an awful way to go. Not good. Yeah, that what makes sense. We should do. We should check the basement. Might be someone left down there. All right, to the basement we go. Whew. We still have, like, a lot of game left, too, because we have a lot of characters alive. Even though we're at... I think we're at the penultimate chapter, actually? What the fuck? You were already down there? Let's stay down there, asshole. Alright, alright, alright. Be ready. Be ready for anything. Oh, pretty much butt fucked. On a scale from 1 to 10, I'd say butt fucked. Oh, jeez. There comes Chris. And also Ashley. Oh, no. Let's not get killed doing that. That didn't lock it. Oh, well, it gave us time to run. Okay, okay, okay. Be ready, be ready, be ready, be ready, be ready. For anything at all. Am I moving? Is this a It's a cutscene. Okay, 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 okay. Oh no. Oh shit, I think this is actually very close to the climax. I'm not, I'm not moving. others. Fantastic. Oh, man. Okay. I originally didn't think the Wendigos were that scary, but now that I'm in a situation where I'm not in control at all, yeah, they all know. <gasps> Gas, we need to set the place on fire. We just need to get out first. Yes! 
But we need to get people out. All right, you get it. Wow, they're, they're really getting into a fight here. I'm pretty sure one of them is Beth, actually. If I'm remembering the story correctly. No! Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Good. We're getting there. That's gonna hurt. Oof. Well, still worth it. Run to the switch, run to the switch. Fast! Very fast! Yes! Of course, that means Mike is dying. Fuck, we killed Mike. Oh, did I just kill us both? All of us? No! Did I just kill everybody? I think I just killed everybody! just killed everybody I just killed Mike and Ashley because I'm a dumbass damn it oh Chris is alive fuck damn it Oh, well, so thanks for the trophy. Two of my friends are dead. Four of my friends are dead. Oh, man. Well, we reached the end of the game faster than I thought we would. Oh, fuck me. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for reminding me of my fuck-ups. Yep, there he goes. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, the old man, I, uh, I, I don't know how to describe him. You said you thought he'd stalk you at first. Yes. Did anyone else in your group think that? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Is it possible they Wait, did it, did it just, did it not show Ashley die? No. Did Ashley survive? He did not attack us. Saved my life. And I did, did I miss it showing Ashley die? Am I crazy? I was right there, and I could have done something. Actually, you I were gone from a from a large part of the plot. I don't even know how you came out. Wasn't good enough. How how you got out of there, you and Jess? End up in the mine. I was carried and um, taken. Well, clearly you didn't. I thought we had a connection. If you need someone to talk to, I'm fine. No, you're not. After a traumatic experience, I said I'm fine. You're not. Mike. What do you remember? No, Ashley seems pretty dead. He came for me. It just didn't seem like it showed her in the death montage. Am I crazy? Where is he? Did he make it? It's my fault Mike died. I wasn't supposed to move. But I did. But he signaled you that that was the plan. I, I followed the plan. So it's my fault that he died. You need to listen to me. Uh, I thought I was following the plan. If you believe me or not, it doesn't matter. I'm a dumbass. I feel bad. You need to go down to the mines. What? Oh, 
Oh man. I fucked it up. God damn it, we were in such a good run and I fucked it up in the last goddamn scene. Oh, I feel like a pile of vomit right now. Mike, Ashley, they could have survived. We could have had only two deaths. <laughs> Aww. Man. Don't mock me with your awesome death song. Son of a bitch. <laughs> well, I guess this proves that it's still a very effective game on a second playthrough, just like... Well, I mean, that's the basic idea, right? It's supposed to be very different from game from playthrough to playthrough. It took a while, I was very cocky there for a good long while. And then it stopped fucking around, <laughs> like it did last time. God damn it! Oh well. I tried my best, and I think like half of us survived? So that's something? Shit. <laughs> oh man. I will repeat what I said earlier in this playthrough. I really want more games like this one. Um, more horror games like this one. But if you do make a genuine Until Dawn... I know there's Until Dawn Rush of Blood, which is like a VR shooting game. Um, if ever a second Until Dawn is made, please, please make it a, a different horror story. Don't make it a continuation of the Wendigo thing. I know that might ruin the Until Dawn name and make it an artifact title, but this is such a good format for telling all sorts of horror stories. I mean, yeah, there wouldn't be as much action, as many action sequences, but I would love seeing something like this with like a super creepy ghost story or... You could do like a hammer style vampire story or... I don't know, man, there, there are just so many opportunities with this. It could be so cool. <sighs> Well, I don't know if that'll ever happen. If it does, I'm definitely there. Because uh, this is fun. It's not a brand of horror I'm usually that big a fan of. Uh, at least not for the first half. There are some parts I think are a little try-hard. Josh's hallucinations are just... I just find those wildly out of place, really. They, they seem like something... They seem like something he would have come up with for his horror scenario and then scrapped because it was impossible to do with effects. So, yeah, well, let's just skip this. There's no reason to keep watching. Well, thank you for staying with me through all of this. I don't think I have episodes enough to last through all of October, actually. So I'm going to have to find another shorter game to fill out the rest of the month with. We'll see what that is. Until then, um, thanks for watching. Bye.